During the springtime, it can be quite a shock to come out and see some of our rose bushes covered in hundreds of aphids. It gave me quite a shock this morning, but in a lot of cases, it's really not that big a deal. And it's certainly not something that warrants a trip to a big box store to buy a harmful pesticide to kill off the aphids. On the contrary, we want to promote natural predators of aphids, such as lady beetles or ladybugs, to come and do some of that natural pest control for us. But just to get a head start removing some of the aphids off the bud clusters, which is where they usually form, I'm just going to use this uh, bamboo stake cut to the length of about a chopstick and gently scrape some of them off with it. So all I'm going to do is grab a stem cluster here and gently scrape downwards and the aphids fall right off. Can move on to the next one. You basically just repeat this process until you're satisfied and you repeat that process on each one of these bud clusters here. If you've got a really serious infestation of aphids, sometimes it can be helpful to use an organic approved pesticide such as neem oil to thoroughly coat the tops of the leaves, the bottoms of the leaves, and the bud clusters. And this will prevent aphids from coming back and mooching off some of the energy of that rose plant. But in a lot of cases, not even that is necessary because if we've got a healthy growing plant like this rose bush is here, it is going to be able to outgrow its pest infestation without impacting some of the gorgeous blooms or the fragrance that comes from them.